Hey guys, it's Rob, and I'm just doing a video on how to do the upgrade of your NASA M Lite to the uh, NASA V2 4.02 firmware. I'll just demonstrate how to do that. And I've got my Alien 560 quad here, which has got a NASA Lite unit. It hasn't been upgraded yet. You'll see I've got it connected to the PC. And what you need to do first is just run this little software program here. So you just click that, and I'll just allow it to run. And what you see is this screen here, which just takes you through a couple of steps. You'll see, first thing we need to do is connect uh, to the USB, power up your Nazarem light, run the light assistant, upgrade the firmware, power cycle, close the light assistant, and run NASA Assistant 2. So let me just take you through that process. So the first thing I'm going to do is just connect power to my quad. Just following those steps one by one. So connect power to the quad, okay? And now what we have, you can see the green light, so we do in fact have power. What I'm gonna do now is open up this NASA light assistant. And there it is. Now I've backed up all these settings and you'll see that now that we have this little upgrade program running, you get this extra window here that says welcome to NASA M Light to V2 upgrade project. Okay, so all you have to do is basically click upgrade and it warns you to uh, remove power to the motors or remove the propellers, so that's okay. And it's just running through the upgrade process. Okay, upgrade is successful. Please power cycle the device. So the next thing we want to do is just disconnect power to the quad. So I've done that. I'm now going to close all this software. Okay, close that one. And we'll close that one. What I'm going to do now is open up the NASA Assistant 2.2, which is for the version 2 NASA unit. We'll start that. Okay, what I'll do now is just connect power again to my quad. And you'll see, it's actually recognized it. It's telling me to do an advanced calibration of the uh, IMU. So I'll do that shortly, but let's just click away from there. And what I'll do is I'll show you that it is actually um, showing you that the firmware is now 4.02. So the upgrade was successful. And uh, this is the fourth unit that I've done this with, and I've test flown the first three, and they just fly beautifully. It doesn't have that drift problem anymore. The NASA Lite has a drift when you first take off, but uh, with this updated firmware, there's just no drift problem at all. So what I'll do now, um, I won't keep a video running of it, but if you go back to the tools, you do the advanced calibration, it takes about five minutes. So I'll stop the video there but everything else seems to work. What I noticed is all the um, parameters, all the gains are still the same, the GPS mounting position, none of that has changed. What I did just to be on the safe side is I did a, another calibration, I'll do that on this quad too, of the RC, just make sure everything is still uh, at the correct setting. So uh, yeah, just making sure all the different windows are as they should be. Fail safe is go home and landing, voltage I'll just set my uh, voltage warnings they don't appear to have changed so that's all good and the other window you'll get here which is not on the NASA light is this limits so it's like a maximum height maximum radius limit I haven't experimented with those but I will over the next few days to see how it works so yeah so that's the upgrade that's how you do it and uh, it definitely works I notice a big difference in how my quads fly once I've done this upgrade a lot more stable and no drift at all thanks for watching